Hey YouTube, uh, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode of the 20 gallon uh, two tank build we're gonna do, um, I got all the materials we're gonna need. Um, so for today we're gonna do the plumbing of the tank and then the next episode we'll end up putting the light on. I got a great idea what we're gonna do there. A few people want to see how they can add a uh, suspending light over top of the tank. Um, so I end up, I got the pipe here. Um, I, got, uh, I got a one inch, a one inch for the overflow box to the basement and I got a half inch for the return back into the display tank. So these are the two, I got the clear uh, the clear plastic ones, it works really well, they're really flexible. Um, one thing that you wanna, the best thing to do is if you have less, like less 90s in your pipe, you'll get more flow because every time there's a 90, you lose flow into your into your display tank. You don't want that, you wanna have as much flow as possible. So the, the, I got these uh, this product for the plumbing of the tank. Um, the other thing is I end up getting it's called for the for the return. It's right here. It's a it's called a knuckle system. Just open it up for you guys. It's a knuckle system. So this is what I'm going to use for the the return. Um, so I'm going to have my pipe coming up the top, and then I can I can bend these any direction for flow. Um, it comes with a it comes with an end. The end if you think like the end is like sixteen dollars. This stuff is ridiculous in price, but it's it's a great product. So we'll open this one as well. So this will be the return. So you see, it's got I can direct the flow. So it's just knuckles. You can just you can build them up as much as you want. You just uh, stick it on. So you can just stick it on there. So now you see how you have the the return there. So that'll be the return. So now I can put this in in uh, the display tank, and I can turn that in any direction of flow. What I'm hoping with this tank, if I don't have to put any uh, power heads in there, the better, because it's only 20 gallon. I don't want to fill it up too much with uh, different power heads. So I'm hoping my pump downstairs will have enough return that I can put in this direction and get uh, like a current, you know, get a, like a little mini current going in the inside and that'll be enough to uh, make enough uh, motion in the ocean. Okay guys, so that's the gonna be the return on that one. So we're gonna do end up doing that up next. So if you guys remember, so here's the big 20 gallon we got going on. So I'll just show you guys. So this is the one we've been working on for, uh, for a few weeks now, right? From the other uh, videos. So this is the 20 gallon uh, tank. Um, last week we end up doing the how I showed you guys how to build your own overflow box out of acrylic and how to uh, bond that together um, the other video we did was we we painted the back painted the back of the tank so we have the black so it matches uh, my main display 220 and the other video we did was we added a, a bulkhead for the overflow box so it's directly through and that's where I showed you how to you could drill your own glass by getting uh, the bit from any hardware store the diamond bit. So that's the 20, uh, the 20 gallon we did right there. It's looking good. So when we do the plumbing on the back, what I want to do is I want to bring a half inch PVC pipe up. I want to put a few connections here and this is where we're going to have the overflow going, overflow into the tank that I just showed you guys, the knuckle system there. I'm hoping that'll be the enough flow in here. You don't have to add any power heads. And then we're going to add the, the, the one inch uh, PVC, the one inch pipe from here to the basement as well. So let's get this process started. Get the holes drilled to the basement. I'm gonna have a spot where there was a register at one time. So I'm gonna drill in that area and we're gonna drill down to the main sump for the 220 and we're gonna hook these systems together. All right guys? All right guys, so this is the area in here. I'm gonna drill my holes down to the return sump. Um, so I got my bit all ready. I'm gonna end up drilling the two holes. So that'll be next. All right guys, so I got my drill ready. Um, so I need to drill two holes right now. I need to drill one hole for my return and one uh, for the overflow box. So I need my overflow box to go down to my main display and I wanna put it right in my filter sock. And the other one I wanna hook up to, I have a connection that I can feed off uh, my main pump to feed the 20 gallon uh, display. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill a couple holes and then we'll start doing the plumbing together guys, all right? guys so this is where I got it all hooked up in here I'll show you guys right there see the two holes that's going right into the basement right down to the sump so we're good to go there so we end up we got our two lines they're gonna hook to our uh, main display here all right guys so now we're ready to do the do the return so I end up I did a mock-up of what I want to do here so you guys can see how I have like the gooseneck going on so I end up this ended up being like it was a one inch so I had to get one inch connectors down to a uh, half inch pipe so I have a few pieces I have to put together here um, so one thing when you have threads, you always want to make sure you use a uh, plumber's like Teflon tape 
to put all in the threads before you tighten everything up. So what I like to do is just to do a mock-up. So you guys can see that's what I want to do with the gooseneck. This is you can move this around, you know what I mean, wherever you want to put the flow. So I turn I turn the 20 gallon tank around so we can do a mock up. I need to get some measurements. So I end up I want to put it in this corner here. So it just it just reaches over top of the top of the the 20 gallon. So I can take some measurements of how much uh, PVC pipe I want to run down the back so I can make it a solid connection. So what I need to do here is I need to place this at the height I want and then I can measure down how much I want to put in for piping. So I'm looking about 32 inches of a, of a pipe that I want to place on here. So it's end up, I'm going to show you guys, this is what it's going to look like. So when we end up gluing this up, so it's going to come up the back, the plumbing's going to come up the back, so my height, and then I can put nice clamps on here to do a nice uh, finished finish product. So that's what the plan is. And then at the other end, at the other end of this, just take that off. We're gonna put on the connection for the for the pipe. So we end up putting it on the other end right here. All right guys, so that's the plan. So let's cut this all up and uh, we'll start gluing everything together. So we're gonna measure our, put this to the side. So we're gonna measure our 32 inches we want. So let's measure 32 inches. So there's our 32. I'm just gonna use a hacksaw to cut this. You guys can use whatever you want. So I'm just gonna hacksaw this up. So we got our piece at 32 inches. I like just to clean the clean the burrs out here. So I just take my uh, knife and I just clean her up. You take a little bit of sandpaper if you want, just do the edges. I got the pipe I got, you don't have need, need to use primer. Um, it's already been redone for me. I don't like using the primer because it doesn't do as nice a job, I find, but that's my opinion. So you got that all cleaned up. So we'll just put that to the side for now. So what we're going to do is I got my gooseneck here. So first we're going to do is I'm going to just take this off, take everything apart. So here we, we have threads. So you want to take your Teflon tape. And you know when you're, you're screwing in clockwise, you want to do the opposite of your... Uh, your Teflon tape so when you're tying it in it doesn't come out so you always do the opposite get enough in your threads just slowly wrap it around your threads this will make a really nice teal seal so you don't uh, get any leaks so next you're gonna put that start screwing that into your other piece of pipe screw it as tight as you can I like to take channel locks you can really tighten her up All right, so there's one end done. We got the Teflon tape in there. Let's take the other parts out. So I had to, uh, had to size it down again. So same thing. Put your Teflon tape counterclockwise. We don't want any, we don't want any leaks. It's really pain in the butt when you got to go back and try to fix it. That's why you're gonna do a test run. Break that off. So we're gonna go into our another one inch pipe here. Now we're getting down to half inch. So let's. Do the same thing. We're going to tighten that in there really tight. Grab our channel locks here. Tighten it right up. If you just take these few little extra steps, it'll save you a lot of headache in the end. All right, so there we go. So we're going to take our, our other one now. This is going to be turning right down to half inch pipe. It's the same thing again. Teflon tape counterclockwise now we're going to screw that into the other the other one channel locks tighten it up there we go so there we go we got our return nozzle our return nozzle all in one piece we got our gooseneck, it's gonna feed our display tank. It's gonna end up like that. So that's good to go. So now, what we can do, we can take our piece of pipe. So we got our PVC glue here. I don't have to use primer on mine because it already has, the, all the, the primer does is takes a coating off the pipe. So it makes it so it's a nice clean edge and this pipe has already been pre-done so all I need is glue. 
what we're going to do is we're take our 32 inch piece we cut. We're going to put glue on here. I like to do both sides. Just a shot. Now you're going to stick it in your pipe. Twist it a bit. I always like to hide the lettering so it does a cleaner look. So we're going to end up, it's going to look like this guys on the back. That's your mock up there. So that's what it's going to look like. Now we're going to feed our tank. So now we're going to let, as that's drying, we'll end up going to glue, glue the other connection to the PVC pipe where we're going to hook our piece of clear, clear uh, return hose. So let's do the same thing again. Glue it up. Same thing again. I'm going to do both insides. I'm going to drop that on there. Give it a twist, make a complete seal. So now we're just going to let that dry. So there we go. So there's one part done. We got the return almost complete. So now we're going to work on doing the uh, pipe for the, for the overflow box. So in the kit that I got, it comes with a 90. See that it comes with a 90. And we're going to go a uh, well, one inch pipe. So this is, we're going to glue this in here like this. I'm just going to show you guys what's going on. And then we're going to take our, our overflow pipe like this and it's end up, it's going to be uh, connected onto that pipe right there. So this is pretty much the mock-up of what it's going to look like. Um, one key, if you really want to get this pipe softened up, you take boiling hot water and you soak your pipe in it. You let it get really malleable and then you, you, you slide it over top of your, uh, your connection and it'll make a really, really tight seal. And then you guys can add your uh, clamps or anything like that, but it makes everything a lot easier. So now, what I'm going to do right now, guys, um, is I'm going to return. I'm going to turn the 20 gallon around. Um, I'm going to finish up the plumbing and uh, strap everything nicely. So we'll all right, guys. So I pretty much I think I got all my tools. I really hope so. I got to try to fit back in this little hole. I'm 6'2", 234 pounds. So I got to get in there. It's not going to be very comfortable. It'd be handy to have an extra set of hands, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So we got to make sure I got everything nice and close so I can access it with my hands. So wish me luck, I'm going in. So I got some half, half inch straps here, so I'm gonna strap this pipe in the back so it looks really nice and neat. You want to try to have a finished product, right? All right, guys. So this is where I put the two pipes uh, through the floor. I have my return and uh, my overflow. So I just I strapped everything all up nice and neat up along the side. Made sure everything keeps square. We'll end up I'll just put a clamp on that, and then we just keep going up. So it keeps going up. We follow our pipe. More clamps, and I'm just getting down in here for you guys. So you guys just see up here where the overflow is hooked up and uh, the return. All right guys, so we got the 20 gallon uh, mini reef nano tank. It's all uh, plumbed up now. We got our return, we got our overflow box, everything's set. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let that glue up for tonight and then tomorrow I'm gonna hook up all the connections in the basement so we get the water flowing. Um, I gotta make sure that I make 20 gallons of water because after I turn the pumps on, I'm gonna lose 20 gallons out of my main display to fill the, the new nano tank. Um, plus the other thing I got too is I end up getting land in uh, 20 pounds of uh, live sand. This one is uh, Caribbean Sea, Caribbean Sea, uh, Oceans Direct. Uh, it's really good. Uh, I, I put some of this in my main display when I started as well. But yeah, so we got 20 pounds. So that's the 20 pound bay. We're end up we're gonna put in the display uh, tank on the next episode. So I just want to make sure everything uh, glues up nicely there, and then uh, we'll turn everything on together and see what happens. And then uh, we'll end up doing uh, the light hanger. I got all the materials for that. So we're going to have a nice uh, LED light hanging over this. Plus I've been growing uh, my mangroves uh, in the basement there for about uh, two months now. Trying to make sure I get a really nice uh, root system on there. So the mangroves will help filter my main display. So everything I'm doing here in these tanks will have help and benefit my uh, display tank. Just by having the two mangroves will help filter the water. I mean, I got the land in... I got him some more, uh, I bought more live rock. It's curing right now for the two tanks. So it's gonna be really good. So let's tune in uh, to the next episode, guys. So I hope you guys like this episode. Uh, please subscribe, hit the like button. Um, hope everybody's having a great 4th of July today. And, uh, and everybody be, uh, be careful and safe. So, you know, have fun tank on and uh, move on to the next episode.